Hello and welcome to Novato Test Plus tutorial. I'm Adi Purdila, and in today's video, you'll learn about SiteGround's WordPress hosting. Uh, I'm going to show you what it is, how you can get it, and I will also give you my personal impressions uh, because I bought the service about a year ago and it's been running ever since. So let's begin. Now, before we start, uh, let me quickly touch on what is managed WordPress hosting because it's a little bit different than traditional hosting. It's more powerful, but it's also more expensive. Uh, we have a detailed tutorial that's specifically on this topic and you'll find the link to it down below. But right now, I just want to make a few key points so um, I can give you some context for this tutorial. So managed WordPress hosting is or optimized WordPress hosting is a, a type of hosting service that's geared specifically for WordPress websites. And the cool part is the host will take care of all the tedious, all the technical bits of running a WordPress website like installation, um, updates, backups, uh, uptime, security and all that good stuff. So basically, you don't have to do much. The host will take care of that for you. All you have to do is log into your WordPress uh, backend and create your content. Now, this type of WordPress hosting is more expensive than traditional hosting, but it's also um, better suited for people that are not necessarily um, very technical, but also for people that just don't have the time to do all of these things like security um, measures and uh, doing backups and stuff like that. They just want to uh, write their content, uh, update their website, and that's it. And that's going to leave the rest of the stuff to the pros. Also, with this comes a great support team of WordPress experts. So if you get a managed WordPress hosting, you can be sure that there's a whole team behind it uh, that's very knowledgeable in WordPress, and uh, that team will be there to assist you with any problem that uh, you might have. Now, SiteGround is one of the many web hosting providers that offers managed WordPress hosting. And uh, this is actually a service that I have. I bought this uh, last year for a website that I'm developing. And even though uh, my website is still like very young, I haven't done much to it, I didn't have any kind of issue with, uh, with the service. But more about that in just a little bit. To uh, get this uh, WordPress hosting from SiteGround, you would go to SiteGround.com and then Hosting and click on this, uh, this little link here. And this will take you to the uh, pricing page, basically. And you'll see that there are currently three pricing tiers. You have one that starts at $5.99, $9.99 and $13.99 euros per month. You can convert that to a US dollars if you're in the US. And this will detail exactly what you're getting for each plan. And as you can see, each and every plan has awesome tools like a free WordPress installation, a migrator that uh, allows you to migrate your existing WordPress installation to the new one, auto updates, free SSL, which is great, daily backups, free CDN for your assets, your images, your, your files, uh, free email, and a bunch of other things. Uh, currently, I have the Grow Big plan. Uh, initially, I started with Startup, uh, but since I now have two websites that I'm hosting here, I went with Grow Big and I can now host unlimited websites. And whenever you're uh, ready to get started, simply click Get Plan, follow the instructions, you'll be asked to uh, create an account, 
And what's also cool about SiteGround is that you can buy your domain from them as well or through them as well. Now to give you a little bit more insight into what you can do with SiteGround, I'm going to log in to my account and show you around and hopefully you'll get an idea of um, the capabilities of this service. So I'm just going to go to login and that's going to take you to your uh, dashboard basically. Here you can see that I also have my domain, uh, my hosting uh, expiring soon and I'm going to have to renew that. But let's go to websites and here you can see the two websites that uh, I'm currently managing. This is my own, this is my wife's website. And if I want to host another website, I can simply click new website and uh, follow the directions there or uh, click this button. But let's go to site tools on uh, my own website here. And I'm going to show you around the uh, admin interface. So in this uh, left sidebar, I have all the tools that I need and they're neatly organized into these categories. So for my website, I have a file manager that I can use to download and upload files to the server. I can then create FTP accounts to be able to upload or download files from an external app. And then I have an app manager. And as you can see, right now I have a single app installed. I have WordPress version 5.542. Uh, but if I want to, I can click this uh, box and I can select a different application, which is pretty cool. Maybe I want a, another installation of WordPress, but with WooCommerce alongside with it. I can simply select this one. I can tell it where to install it. I give it some admin info and I just hit install and it's that easy. Then we have some more uh, developer oriented tools like access to MySQL databases. Then under security, we can find all the backups. And as you can see, SiteGround automatically backs up my website every single day at roughly the same time. And if let's say something happens, my website gets hacked or something, or I make a mistake, I can simply go to a backup. I can say, okay, the, this one is good. So my website was functioning properly. Then I can click here and I can restore either everything or I can restore things selectively, which is pretty cool. I can also do an on-demand or a manual backup for, let's say, I want to test out a new structure for my website. I want to redesign it, right? And I want to back things up first. Well, I can give it a name and I can create a manual backup here and I can have up to five manual backup slots. Here you can also find everything related to SSL and secure connections, uh, protected URLs, blocked IPs, uh, and also site scanner. This is a pretty cool uh, tool. Uh, this is basically a malware detection tool. It scans your entire website and it lets you know if it found any malware or any threats on your website, which is pretty cool. Then under speed, you can enable Cloudflare or a website caching. Then under WordPress, you have a couple of options as well. You can install a new WordPress from this uh, page. You can also migrate your website from a different WordPress installation. And you can also enable WordPress auto update. So when there's a major release, you can wait for a specific time to update. When there is a minor release, you can choose to update immediately or within 24 hours. Everything here is configurable and you can also choose to update your plugins if you so desire. And as you can see right now, my website is up 
to date, even though I haven't touched the back end of my website in, in quite a while now because it's still a work in progress. Then under domain, you have the option to add alternative domains that will point to your main one. You can create subdomains, redirects, you can do all of these things right here. Then you can create email accounts, forwarders, autoresponders, everything you need to run an email address from your, uh, your new domain. Then under statistics, you get access to traffic information, like how many visitors, how many page views, and so on. Also, you can see your logs, your error and your access log right here. And if at some point you're in this interface and you want to access your WordPress backend, you can simply click here, go to my account. You can go back to websites and you can click manage. That's going to take you to this page where you would click WordPress kit and WordPress admin go. And that's going to take you to your website slash WP login. It's going to log you in. And you're now in the WordPress backend. It's really that simple. And of course, you can get here manually. Just go to your website slash WP dash admin, just like you would on any WordPress website. So what about my experience so far? Well, it's been great, no problems whatsoever. Uh, but as I was saying in the beginning, my website is still in the very early stages. So I don't have much content on it. I have a couple of drafts. I'm working on a, uh, on a theme for it. But everything that I've done so far on it uh, has been really simple. I've had no problems. Uh, I even had a chat with, uh, with support uh, recently about um, just a small hiccup um, on, on the Gutenberg editor. And I thought it was an issue from the server, the hosting, but it wasn't actually. It was a, a known Gutenberg bug where it wouldn't show the dashboard icons. Uh, so support was great. I just had an instant chat with them. And um, yeah, I just love uh, all the features of it. I love the, the daily backups. I love the speed. It's very fast. Um, and overall, I think it's a, it's a great fit for uh, for what I want to do. So I highly recommend you, uh, you check out SiteGround. As I was saying, I'm not an affiliate with SiteGround, but I have been using them. So, you know, I can give you uh, my point of view. Uh, there are other uh, great options out there. So uh, it's really up to you to find the perfect uh, fit for you when it comes to this type of service, managed WordPress hosting. And with that said, I'm going to wrap up this tutorial. I hope it was uh, useful. And thank you very much for watching. I'm Adi Purdila, and until next time, take care.